Hi, my name is Allie Knapp. I am the president of a software company based out of Bozeman called Wisetail. We sell training and communication software. I am, I have two dogs. I have a bulldog named Truck and I have a new puppy that is a uh, Newfoundland and his name is Johnny Cash and he's 12 weeks old so he's a new addition. Uh, I live in Livingston, Montana. Uh, I work out with Mountain Tough and I spend a lot of my free time uh, being in the mountains whether that is uh, you know, backpacking, uh, doing uh, backcountry hunting trips, uh, skiing, which has been a passion of mine since I've been, you know, really little. Or uh, I've found a new love for trail running, so my 2019 is going to be full of, of trail running and uh, started doing that just last year. I, you know, in the past have loved riding my mountain bike and doing things like that as well. I actually got into hunting probably about five years ago um, when I moved to Montana and I got into um, to specifically elk hunting was what I was most interested in and I did rifle hunting and you know I went out and I took my rifle for long walks in the mountains a lot and, and did that for several falls and then last spring I decided that I was gonna uh, archery hunt and so I spent the spring and summer practicing with my bow and doing that every evening and I just loved it. It was this really meditative activity I could do in the evening times and I just go out shoot my bow and it was really just more about the experience in doing that, and um, so this past fall was my first uh, was my first archery hunt, and uh, so went out and did a, a backcountry hunting trip um, for for two weeks, and um, stayed. And it was all public land based, and uh, you know, carrying my bow around, and was, got into a lot of different elk and uh, packed, packed out. Um, an elk, not mine, but it was a great trip and uh, that's where I've just, I guess, gained more of a, a love for it. Uh, growing up, my dad was a, a big hunter. I grew up in the Midwest, so I grew up in northern Michigan and my dad uh, was really into whitetail hunting. And he's actually, uh, as I've moved out west, he's gotten really into uh, coming out and, and spending a couple weeks out here archery hunting every year as well. And so for the past couple of years, I've done uh, trips with him as well. And uh, it's, it's just been a neat experience to, to be able to experience that with two generations. I previously worked with with Dustin at a different in a different job, and so kind of just followed his path of, of where he was going and and learned about it through that. And I guess one of my I started going to Mountain Tough, um, not even to the classes because I had a couple of, of injuries. I um, blew my knee skiing, and I actually uh, broke the top of my humerus in the same year. Um, with a mountain biking accident. And so I was in kind of rough shape and I started uh, working out with Dustin to actually do some rehabilitation on my shoulder. And um, after a few months, we got into a program. It started, I started strengthening it and then started doing the classes and, and just uh, loved it. I mean, I love the energy, love the people and the fact that it was just, you know, pushing me harder than I'd a, I've ever been pushed in a class. And so I uh, just continued to, to keep going. And that was a couple of years, two, two years ago now, I guess. Three, yeah, two years ago. So to be honest, I was super intimidated at first. I, I mean, I was coming off of a couple of really large injuries and the first time that I'd ever really gone through surgery and, and had to come back from something. And so uh, I was, I was just nervous to start this program that seemed like incredibly intense and um, 
I went to some of the classes and, and kind of realized that uh, the people were super encouraging and, and that the programming was, was doable. I mean, I could get through these classes, right? And then it just became, as it's evolved over the past couple of years, it's been about, you know, going to the classes and, and pushing yourself harder and harder. And I think when I first joined, I thought there was gonna be this sense of like, all right, like I'm gonna, after a few months, I'm gonna get this. Like this is gonna get easier, right? And I think the point is it doesn't. It, as you are training, it, it actually, you're able to push yourself harder, which makes the classes even more intense and more intense. But um, you can start out with, you know, not having a, a, huge, a huge baseline and work up to that. You just have to have the willingness and the attitude that you wanna be there and you wanna do it. So I think Mountain Tough has changed me because it's made me more focused on, on a goal and focused on and committed to what I would call a, a program. And so it's, it's changed the way I, I think about um, whether it's, it's changed the way I think about training. It's um, really something that I feel like, you know, I've, I've done a lot of other um, other programs like you know I've done CrossFit or I've done other things like that and, and it's different because it I think has this mental component that none of the other training programs that I've gone through have had and I think Mountain Tough has changed me because it has given me something that I'm absolutely not going to miss it's like this it's become this thing in my life that it's like, I, I have to be there. I, I have this commitment, this commitment to these people to, to come here and, and work hard and, and a commitment to myself too. And in previous, you know, training regimens and things that I've done like that, I've never felt as strong of a, of a commitment to it. And in, at work, I notice a huge difference in that my focus is different. If I come to class in the morning and I'm and I go in and work, uh, I'm able to handle things better. I'm able to process things better. I have a clearer mind. I think that it it is a, is a stress relief. It's like this time where you can go, you get it all out during that hour, and then it allows you your you to mentally be able to focus more on you know that time being in an office, like being in that office environment. So I think that's a, a big difference. I live in Livingston and I moved out to Livingston in January. And there's some times where on Wednesdays, I know I can't make a noon class. And so I get in my truck at 4.50 in the morning and make it here for the 5.30 class. And just because I know that if I don't make that and I don't make that time to be there, then my day is, is not going to be what I want it to be. <laughs> okay, so it's actually pretty, it's pretty unique in that I have gone out and I've hiked in all the different mountain ranges. I've been really deep in the crazies. I've been in, um, I've, you know, done a lot of hunting outside of, of Big Sky and, uh, you know, when I, talked a little bit about my elk trip earlier this year. I mean, we were 16 miles back. It was, um, you know, sleeping out of a teepee for two weeks. And so uh, my deer story is not <laughs> even close to any of those. I actually shot, um, I, I shot a buck this year and I, sh it's a white tail and I shot him on our property that we live on. Um, but it was my first one. And so it holds a special spot for me. Um, so uh, I live on 60 acres and uh, it's really close to some alfalfa fields. So actually I shot my first deer just, uh, it was an after work hunt and, um, and it was during, during rifle season. And so uh, it, wasn't, um, it wasn't a legendary pack out or anything like that. It was, uh, it was a pretty simple, simple hunt. Okay, so uh, for the last two years in the fall, I've, um, I've 
gone out and done a backcountry elk trip. And so this past September, I went out um, and then my boyfriend and my dad went out on the trip as well. And we start the trip with a um, 14 mile dirt bike ride. And so we have our packs on and basically go out 14 miles with the dirt bikes. We um, park them at the wilderness boundary and then we hike in. And so we've hiked in um, the spot that where we've set up a base camp this year was about six miles in. Um, so we kind of dropped down into a basin, um, carrying our, our packs in and um, set up a base camp next to a little creek and uh, live out of, um, we have a, a teepee that we, we carry in, has a little stove and it's actually pretty luxury for, for backcountry camping and um, have water source right there and um, we typically do day hunts out of that little base camp area and so um, this year we're, we were lucky enough to be able to spend a couple of couple of weeks out there and um, for the first week of the trip my dad uh, was there with us and he's you know from Michigan and, and definitely over the past couple of years has gained a really big interest in, in elk hunting and uh, so it's, it's pretty neat to be able to share uh, out. The fact that I can can be out there and go all day uh, is <laughs> is I think where Mountain Tough has really made a difference in that. I mean, they're long days. We're up before the sun rises in the morning and then we're coming back with headlamps on at night. And, um, you know, it's not it's not rare to, you know, to, to have 10 plus mile days, you know, back to back. And so I think you have to, to have trained and you have to have a level of fitness to be able to go out and, and do that um, back to back. And I think it really shined this year um, when my, um, my significant other got his, his bull and um, we ended up packing out uh, his entire bull uh, with, ba with basically the two of us um, and, uh, and my dad. So we packed it out uphill, you know, for, well, I guess we were probably the whole thing was Four and a half miles, probably carrying it uphill, and then um, yeah, pretty heavy packs, and uh, had to do a couple laps, and yeah, but got it out of there. I think what surprises me the most about Mountain Tough is it's a workout that pushes you harder than where you think your that end capacity is for you. Like it'll, it drives you to go beyond that that uncomfortable state where you think you can't do it and you want to quit, uh, it pushes you beyond that. And I think there's a lot of other training program programs out there that, um, you know, you get to that limit and, and that's it. Then then the class is over or, or you, you get to that limit and, and you know, that's kind of the max of, of the workout and it's different at Mountain Tough at your holding yourself at that that max level for a lot longer period of time and uh, and I think that there's a couple different components to that. I think one of it is actually the, the mental toughness component that uh, is unlike any other workout that I've, I've been a part of. That mental toughness component translates into the rest of my life because it uh, it just in situations when you're out in the mountains and you're out in the backcountry and you're done and you want to give up and you're just like just over it you feel like there's you know not not a lot left it it gives you the ability to dig deep and and continue on and and push through it always ready it it means that I could pick up a backpack and go, you know, 20 miles into the backcountry and be ready to pack out a bowl. It means that, you know, I could walk into a work scenario and absolutely know that whatever's thrown at me that day, like, I can handle it. I'm ready for this, right? It would mean that I could, you know, 
be able to, you know, do a trail run in the mountains that is one of the most extreme trail runs in, in southwest Montana. It would mean uh, that basically I would have the physical and mental capacity to do whatever it is that I want to do. So I, I feel like if you're contemplating or you're thinking about um, joining and being a part of this community, then you know, you're, you're already halfway there, right? You, I think make the commitment because um, it'll, change, it'll change your life. It'll change the way you look at problems. It'll change the way that you um, just go about and face your everyday life. I think at the beginning it can be super intimidating, but every single person that is a part of Mountain Tough, like they start somewhere, right? Like you have to start somewhere. And they're, you know, the community is full of people that, you know, have like want to achieve something um, and that's going to be different. Those goals are going to be different from for each person, but uh, it's a welcoming community that if you're if you want, you know, this to have this drive and this commitment in your life, like I think they should do it. <laughs> I mean, there's this intimidation factor about it, right? But I think it's understanding that. Everyone, they're just real, everyone's a real person. They have a story and um, they're starting from somewhere and they want to be at a different level. And so um, if you want to be around people that um, are going to push you and motivate you to, to achieve whatever it is that is your goal, then, um, then, then become, you know, become part of this, this community and, and, um, there's a group of people that'll help you get to that spot where you want to be.